What's up, YD fam? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Welcome back, back to another video. Yes, yes. So if this is your first time seeing this face, my name is Abena Boatima. I'm a Ghanaian-based YouTuber and a nurse. Your next YouTuber, Bakope, no size. <laughs> when I say that, then people will be like, hey, this girl, who do you who do you who do you <laughs> I believe in myself. I mean, you know that. Uh, Charlie, if you don't believe in yourself, who will believe in you? Mm -hmm. So believe in yourself. So welcome back to another video. So without wasting much time, eh, as you can tell from the topic, let us dive into the video. So welcome back. Welcome back, fam. Welcome back. Uh -huh. So as you can tell from the topic, hey, this video is about... Uh, the mistakes I made before I went for my COVID vaccine and the, or the things you should do before you go for your vaccine or your shots. Yes. So in Ghana, the vaccine came and it started with the, you know, the elites, the presidents, health workers, uh, ministers and all those stuff, uh, government officials. Yes. So it got to attend. I'm in Accra. Yeah, I'm currently in Accra and I'm a nurse in Accra. So it got to our 10 in our department. So we uh, opportunity to have the vaccine. I know a lot of people are afraid. Me, I was afraid. I was afraid of this vaccine. Seriously, I'm telling you the truth. You know, on this channel, we are real on this channel. We don't fake it on this channel. We say it as it is. So I was so scared. Seriously, I said, me, I will not take this vaccine. I will never take this vaccine. If the whites do not take it first, I will never take it. So until I heard that they have taken it there, that some of the whites have, you know, gone for their shots, and I said, uh huh, if they've taken it, then that means I can also take it because I do feel any part of I don't trust people easily. <laughs> you know, Africa mentality, uh huh. So as a health worker, I had that mentality, but. The way the, 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 the pandemic was, you know, spreading and, you know, the, the resurgence crowd was the one that, that bore me cry. People were just dying, falling sick. I was like, God, please help us with a cure. Help us with a cure. Help us with a vaccine that will prevent us from getting this deadly disease or this virus. Hmm. I was so, I was praying every day, praying for a cure. Then a yeah, this thing came. I prayed about it. I said, God, help me, you. help me, you. as I'm going for this verse, help me, you. <laughs> the, you know, the, the, the African girl in me. <laughs> yeah, I said, well, then I closed from my ninth shift. You saw in the video, in the vlog I uploaded, yes, that I, immediately I closed from my ninth shift. I went for my verse. Mistake number one, I made. I, I, I was I didn't eat you know I don't like eating early in the morning but it's very bad it's a very bad habit you should always have your breakfast mm -hmm. so as soon as I closed from my shift I was so tired stressed out and I just went to the department where they take their vaccine then I took my shot I didn't drink water that morning I didn't eat that morning no I didn't do anything I just went there and took my shirt and afterwards well, i go home instead of me drinking a lot of water eating and you know taking my drug your paracetamol tablet or anything you take any pain reliever yes i did it i was so so tired i was vlogging i forgot and i just came home had my bath vlogged told you guys some things then i slept <laughs> I slept. So oh, guys, I slept. Mistake. Guys, if you know that you are you want to go if you want to go for your vaccine, your shots, please number 1 drink a lot of water. Number 2 eat very well. Even eat, eat very well. Afterwards, take paracetamol tablets. Any pain reliever. You know, when babies are going for their vaccine, we the health workers or the nurses, we tell the mothers to give them paracetamol syrup immediately after they are injected the their vaccines you understand me so that that is the advice you normally give back see me see me a health worker 
a health worker, a nurse to be precise. I went for my shots. I didn't take any pain reliever. And guys, <laughs> when I tell you I reacted, I reacted. I really reacted, fam. I'm not under, I'm not, uh, I can't say, I'm not exaggerating. Hmm. My mother was so scared. For two days, I couldn't get her from my bed. For two whole days, I couldn't get her from my bed. I was reacting. I was sweating profusely. In fact, they gave us reaction one wine. A sheet. Let me show you that. Let me see if I can find this, my COVID card. Let me. This is two weeks. Exactly two weeks. I, t I took my shot. Yes, exactly two weeks I took my shot. The first three days was was hell for me yes was hell for me i really reacted i was sweating i, I could i lost appetite pain all over my body the affected sight my lymph nodes everywhere my joints everywhere was paining me it was like i was exhibiting the symptoms of coronavirus i couldn't even smell properly i couldn't uh, taste you know I was like, everything was down, but I had tested, I had already tested negative to the uh, virus because I, I took my test before I went for my shot. I wanted to, you know, clear all doubts before going for my shot. So I already took my test, tested negative before I went for my shot. So I thought, oh, everything will be okay because some of my colleagues weren't reacting as I was, and some were reacting, but not as badly as I was. Some were having running stomach, diarrhea. I on the third day I had diarrhea. Yes, on the third day I had diarrhea. On the first day I had chills. I was sweating profusely. I was shivering, fever. Very. I'll be like malaria symptoms. I'll be cold, then I'll be hot. I'll be cold, then I'll be hot. <laughs> I was like, God of mercy. And you know a vaccine. A vaccine is uh, introducing the same uh, organism into your system so that it will fight it. You understand me? So it is like you are introducing the same thing into your system to fight it, to help your system to fight any one well, you understand me. Yes. So that's uh, basically a vaccine. So it is normal for people to react. Everybody's body is different. Some didn't react. Some reacted. And I, I want to share my experience with you because I reacted badly and it's supposed to be in two shots yes the first shot and the second shot in six weeks time yes or oh, yeah in six weeks or eight weeks forgotten but i'm supposed to go for my second shot in 30th april yes 30th april so the second shot is the one that protects you against the virus yes and the first one is like a shield or something that's what they explained to me but the second one is protects you against the covid virus you can google and go on the who who website to know more about this vaccine and all those stuff but i want to share my experience of of getting the vaccine and what i went through and my reactions yes so if you are going for the shot please take fluids and lot of fluids eat properly and also take your pain reliever immediately after you take your vaccine immediately that's my mistake i was so tired that i forgot all this stuff and i just came home had my bath i didn't even eat then i slept and now it was too late when i was taking my paracetamol and all those pain relievers and my uh fed the immuno why i was taking my vitamins i took my vitamins later it all didn't work the, the the vaccine said oh bwakra. the vaccine said you are lying i i won't mind you i started and what helped me what really helped me was prekese prekese fam prekese really helped me it was my lifesaver we i my boy my mother bought prekese drink for me yes prekese drink uh, my mother bought prekese she poured water on, in a bowl and boiled it and i'll be drinking it every day every day every day I, I was drinking it like my own water and it was helping me it really helped me because all the medications i took didn't do anything for me precursor aidan fruits yes you boil it with water hmm. 
and it really helps a lot it really helped me you see natural remedies and home remedies are the best are the best so if you are afraid me i can't tell you to go for the vaccine or not but i, I always say that prevention is better than cure yes prevention is better than cure we all have our mindsets we all have our opinions on issues we all have our mentality uh, uh, towards things in this world so me i can't think for someone i can't tell you what to do and what to not to do yes because you are grown enough you are old enough to make your own decisions i'm also grown enough to make my own decisions i went there nobody forced me to go for the tests i went there on my own free will yes they, they didn't force me to take the injection i went there so everybody's diff everybody's body is different the way i will react is different from the way someone else will react our immune system is different so me i always plan on me uh, boosting my immune system nowadays the i don't take my <laughs> boosting you uh, lightly cry i make sure i take my vitamin c my zinc chale <laughs> prevention is better than cure boost your immune system eat fruit vegetables you know eat healthy be healthy live a healthy life so that you can fight any disease that comes into your system you understand me mm -hmm. so let's live well healthy living is always my go-to that's what i preach healthy living let's live healthy so i hope this video will help one or two people this video is not supposed to be too long i'm just sharing my experience and what i did wrong and what you people should also avoid yes and what you should do thank you for watching i'll see you in another video don't forget to do what like share and subscribe to this channel okay?